Dogs, they come in all shapes, sizes, and personalities. Huh, yeah, fine, you can stay too. You helped a lot of people pay their way through college. Good boy. But after taking one good look at this little stinker, you've probably asked yourself, how did they go from wild wolves to our adorable best friends? Let's find out in this super episode of Life Noggin. Hey there, welcome to... Yeah, you get it by now. Long before fetch and dog parks, dogs were wild wolves. Around 15,000 to 30,000 years ago, some wolves began hanging out near human campsites. These weren't the alphas, more like the outcasts, willing to scavenge leftovers and tolerate humans. In return, humans got an early warning system, extra protection, and someone to cuddle with during the cold nights. I'm sure that was happening thousands of years ago. Over time, humans and these wolves evolved together. We picked the friendliest ones to stay by our side, and generation after generation, they became dogs. Even though they evolved from wolves, dogs left a lot of their wild traits behind. Yes, that is my behind, Professor Cuddlesworth. Thank you for saying hello. Unlike wolves, dogs developed smaller skulls, floppy ears, and tails that curl. Dogs developed all this thanks to something called domestication syndrome. Basically, when humans picked the friendliest wolves to stick around, it accidentally changed how their brains and bones grew. Friendlier wolves had calmer brains, and that calmness was linked to changes in their jaw and skull shape, like keeping that cute puppy look into adulthood. Their brains are also wired to read human emotions and gestures better than any other species, including chimps. Dogs even evolved eyebrow muscles just to communicate with us better. That's how much they love us. Unlike wolves, dogs can raise their inner eyebrows to make their eyes look bigger and more expressive. The puppy dog eyes face that causes you to stop scrolling yeah, that's basically emotional mind control. Scientists think that dogs develop this trait because humans are more likely to care for animals with expressive, baby-like faces. They did still keep some wolfy instincts, like pack bonding, territorial barking, and a ferocious love of meat. Fast forward to today, and dogs come in all shapes and sizes. We've selectively bred them for different jobs. Hunting, herding, guarding, or honestly just being adorable. Every wag, wolf, and snuggle is the result of thousands of years of teamwork between species. We shouldn't be breeding them to have respiratory issues, but that's a story for another day. Isn't that right, lasagna? He might have asthma, but he's always running through my mind. It's no wonder dogs even made it into superhero stories. Crypto, Superman's loyal canine from Krypton, is more than a comic book sidekick. He's the ultimate symbol of what dogs already are. Loyal, brave, and always there when we need them most. Studies even show dogs can sense our emotions, lower our stress, and detect some diseases. While they may not fly or shoot lasers from their eyes, dogs do have powers that are practically superhuman. Or should I say super k -9ian. And Professor Cuddlesworth is eating his own? Okay. All right. Uh, so what superpowers do you think your dog would have if they were a superhero? Let us know in the comments below. Want to watch even more Life Noggin? Click here to watch this video, or here to watch this video YouTube thinks you'll like. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.